Hi, this is Sharf from Bricks. Today we're gonna explore something that might have caught your eye on some popular websites. Take a look at sites like whereispoland.com and tesla.com. Did you notice how the content snaps neatly into place as you scroll? That's scroll snap in action, and we're excited to bring this feature into Bricks. Now I'm not gonna show you how to build the websites I've just shown you, but I'm gonna show you how to implement the scroll snapping feature in Bricks. And right here, what I have is just a simple website with four sections, and they're very simple, just the number of the section and some background color. And as you can see, I can just scroll, but yeah, it doesn't really snap to the top However, you could imagine if you have, for example, a picture or an image gallery where you want the user to experience it how you designed it. In that case, you might want to apply scroll snapping. Now, inside the builder, I just have these four sections, as I just mentioned, to add scroll snapping to the entire page. We made it really easy by adding it to the page settings. So we'll just first go to the settings, page settings, scroll snap, and then we have all of these options. Now let's implement the bare minimum, which is choosing the type. So scroll snap type, we'll set it to mandatory Y axis, and then we'll hit save, go back to our page. Let's try scrolling now. As you can see, it jumps from a section to the next. As you might have noticed, uh, the selector is brick section. Uh, however, you can change it something else if you wish to. And so with a few clicks, we already have this functionality set up. Now you have more options and more controls that you can uh, play with. We have the selector control where you can change the selector from brick section to something else uh, if you'd like to. We also have a align control which allows you to specify where you'd like the scroll snapping to happen. So for this section, would you like the scroll snapping to happen at the start of the section or at the end or at the center? Uh, it's not really visible with this section because it's 100 vertical height, so I'm gonna change the heights to something that would allow us to see it in action. Okay, so I changed the section's heights from 100 vertical heights to 80 vertical heights. The height itself does not really matter. I'm just doing it to show you how this works. Uh, so right now, by default, the alignment is gonna be at the start of the start of this section. And so if we visit the page, as you can see, as we scroll, it snaps to the top of the section. However, what if we wanted to scroll at the center? We can easily do that as well. So we choose center, hit save, and if you see now, it snaps at the center, except for the first and the last one, of course. Now we also have some controls for margin and padding, which might be helpful sometimes to show you how it works. Let's say we set the padding to 20 vertical heights, click save and visit the website again. Uh, if you noticed, the section's height is back to 100 vertical heights. And now with this padding being set to 20 vertical heights, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it doesn't snap until I'm like around 20% there and then it'll start snapping again. Yeah, and if you notice, there's this padding right here, which is taking about 20% of the screen. And having access to both the padding and the margin, you could imagine you could have some negative margin if that's what you're looking for. Now, I might have not gone into exact details into each control, but what you can do is just hover over the control, you'll see that this is, for example, for stop, this is scroll snap stop, which you can also research and you'll find the documentation uh, on what this exactly does. And you'll find that this is quite useful for trackpads, for example. So to allow maximum flexibility, we also added these controls to the element settings. So if you visit, for example, uh, this container and then style, layout and scroll for a bit, you'll find that I have this scroll snap right here within this container, just so I can show you what I have here. 
Within this container, I have three divs. Now I've set a fixed height to the container and to the divs and added some custom CSS. Uh, let me show you this uh, custom CSS so that you understand what's going on here. This is just to show you what's possible. Of course, you're not gonna create a square with just some letters. Uh, so I'm just showing you what you could create. And here I just set on the container overflow X scroll and overflow Y hidden. And so with this, this div and the second div and the third div, they get basically stacked next to each other, but they are not visible, they are sc they're scrollable. They are all within this. So let me show you in the front end how I have set it up. If I start scrolling and stop, for example, here, it's gonna take me to the next one. Or if I'm leaning more towards the first, it'll take me to the first one. I can also use the trackpad and just scroll between them. To implement something like that, you'll have to set the scroll snap type on the container, on the parent container that contains the elements that you want to snap. So in our case, it's the container element where we've set the mandatory X axis because we want to scroll on the horizontal axis. And then for each child, in our case, these divs will set the alignment. So we could set align start and then the stop. Again, the scroll snap stop. You can play around with this if you have a touchpad or a trackpad, but this being set to always will force users that are using a touchpad to snap. So it basically will always snap and you'll have to scroll again to move on. So you can't just scroll all the way uh, to the other side <laughs> or to the last uh, div. Yeah, that's pr pretty much it. We just set the alignment. Of course, we can do it uh, individually for each div. Uh, if you have different widths for them, uh, you could do that. And of course, we're doing it manually here for each element, but you could, of course, create a CSS class and uh, assign that there so that you don't have to keep doing it uh, manually for each element. And that's all there is to using scroll snapping bricks. This was just a simple example going over the settings and how you could implement this, but I'd love to see what you build with this.